Aquamers present. After almost 40 days, we went to D.C. with a mission to tell our story. It's back to the home office. It was clear to me that it was time to pass the baton over to activists and folks from other states. Um, and it was also clear to me the momentum was there. State Representative Aaron Zwiener returned to the Capitol Friday, pleased with what Democrats had accomplished. We are expecting a vote early next week on the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, and I'm optimistic that by the end of the year, both that law and the For the People Act will have passed both chambers of Congress and be on their way to the president's desk. Meanwhile, voting legislation in Texas that motivated their original departure is still on the table. Republicans stand by it. The Democrats are acting like a prohibition on drive through voting at three o'clock in the morning is, is a reenactment of Jim Crow. It's absolutely absurd. What this bill does is, is it makes it easy to vote, harder to cheat, uh, and preserves the integrity of our election process. The chairman of the Republican Party of Texas called the departure by Democrats a political stunt with no end game. Encourage that we finally have quorum. Uh, hope we keep it over the weekend. However, some Democrats are not pleased with their own colleagues. More than 30 of them released a joint statement expressing disappointment in those that returned, also claiming that quorum wasn't actually met. Austin area representative Gina Hinojosa was one of the signees tweeting out Sunday that she would not be on the floor for a quote fake quorum. But as of now, the House is expected to be back in session on Monday. What I am confident is that every single Democrat is a fighter and folks are going to be where they believe they do the best good for their constituents.